around 1991 or 92, I wrote an article sort of trying to get at the religious aspect of my experiences. And I sent it to Sasha Shulgin. And um, he had just come from a meeting with Bob Jesse where they were talking about spiritual things. So he said, well, you should send this to Bob Jesse. So I did, and we founded the Council on Spiritual Practices. And um, then we had that conference at the Val Ambrosa Center in Menlo Park in 1995. And that's where we brought together people who were interested in the, the entheogenic uses of psychedelics. Um, and that was Houston Smith and Bill Richards and a whole bunch of people who shared this sort of odd area, largely but enti not entirely through our own experiences, and tried to, to bring together the people. And the book Psychoactive Sacramentals came out of that because um, we wanted to make sure there was some permanent record of it. And as, as Houston Smith said, he you know, often gets invited to conferences um, and nothing comes out of it. So we feel like, well, he's talked to, he's talked to, he's preached to the choir. Um, so we decided to put this book together. And um, when we had the book, Houston agreed to come. And uh, he agree, agreed to come because I got the uh, Chicago Theological Seminary to sponsor the conference. And they're a congregational seminary near the University of Chicago. And once he saw a book was coming out of it and it was sponsored by a, a seminary, then he came. And once he came, everybody else would come. <laughs> so he was a big attraction. And then he wrote that, that chapter called A 35-Year Retrospective on Psychedelics. And that got him rolling. He had, hadn't paid attention to psychedelics other than helping the Native American church for about 20 years. And he realized that he said he had some unfinished business with psychedelics. So I collected, I invited him to, to talk to my class the following fall. When he was at the conference, he said, he was going to be interviewed by Bill Moyers on PBS for a five-part series called The World's Faith Traditions the following spring, spring of 96. So I knew I had to invite him before he got on TV, or thousands of people would invite him. So I invited him, and he uh, came and he spoke downstairs in Sandberg Hall. And to prepare my class, I searched all his writings on psychedelics and put them together and had them read to prepare to listen to Houston. And then I gave the collection of photocopied articles to Bob Jesse, who then went to Houston, and Houston edited them into the book called Cleansing the Doors of Perception. So that's how those pieces sort of, you know, all, all fit together. 